Okay, welcome back, guys. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, we are our guests here. Uh, special guest, actually, Amir, uh, yeah, the artist from Malai. Uh, that's who we do, uh, Amir. Hello. Hi, 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 Iman. And <laughs> hi, everybody. Yeah, Amir, we used to meet in person before when I was in Malaysia, guys. So uh, it must be, you know, exciting to have you here. So uh, before I got to start with the video, uh, can you share a bit more about yourself and yeah, how you get into crypto for the first time? Or maybe you got uh, crypto or NFT first? Uh, I don't know. I got into NFT first. I think okay. I just joined NFT like so recently. I mean, like very recent, not recent, lah, like around March. Yeah, around March, March this year. It was by accident. So... I had a lot of like artworks that I have on archive that I didn't use. I mean, I kept it. So and then a friend of mine like, hey, I mean, you just graduated. Why don't you join NFT? And I was like, what is that? Because I was not a believer of crypto at that time. <laughs> I didn't believe that crypto was going to bring me anywhere or whatever. Um, I was very traditional at the time. So, But then she was like saying, you know what, 0 0.01 BNB was just like 16 ringgit 50 cents. So I said, you know, no harm. I can try. Like, if I use 0 0.01 BNB, I can mean like four or five artworks. Then I meted the first ones and I was like saying to my friend, um, you know what? I'm just going to let it be. If someone buys, then they buy. If they don't, then they don't. Then the next day, I think the next day or the next two days, someone like got my work. I mean, the same day I got three works sold. So I was like, oh, okay, this shit is real. <laughs> so when when that happened, I was like, okay, I kept I, I kept on continuing doing that till now, actually. But now I'm a bit busy. So I I've only minted like last week the latest. But I don't really know into details about crypto. Yeah. I just know the I just know the currencies that I use, which is Solana and yeah. um BNB previously. So yeah. Yeah, like for function or like Pentas, uh, you use that a lot, right? Because uh for function you use Solana and uh, uh Pentas use uh BNB, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean Yeah, and, and then what was the aha moment? I mean, like uh when you uh first think uh this industry is not going anywhere. I mean, like uh, when you fully focus on in this industry, maybe you find this community later on, or uh, you just you know find it uh, fascinating about this uh, NFT thing. Mm, I think what makes it fun was the community. So uh, that I remember, Roach Punks had like this gathering, like they did it. So I was like, okay, whatever, no harm. I went. Then I made a few friends. And it was fun. And I was like, oh, okay. I met some people who are like me, like to create art, like to do things. So I was like, oh, I never thought in my whole life that I could like get to meet people who like the, there's a bunch of people who likes to create art, you know. So it was fun because I met not just people my age. Like I met people who are like 40 plus, 30 plus. And we, we are friends, and it's it's kind of fun because you broaden your you diversify, kind of like your friendship. You're not like just being friends with the same kind of people, and it's it's amazing because you learn a lot from from them too. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because the community make make us stronger, right? But at the same time, you know, uh, but before that, I, I just want to shout out to Roj Pao who had you know a gathering uh, together before when I, I was in Malaysia. It's like a pure uh, uh, great welcome uh, to the yeah community. Even though I'm not in the, in the NFT, but still you know uh, the community is still welcome me as well. So shout out to Roj Pao. But at the same time, you know the community when it it, it uh, becomes the bigger. Uh, as you know, like there is like drama going on when you say that before. Uh, do, you, do you think that it, this is that obstacle that I uh, need to, you know, uh, overcome? Or it's just uh, shit happens? I don't know. I feel like when it comes to dramas, right, it doesn't only happen to NFT. It happens everywhere. Yes. But the community is not that big. So when a drama happens, like everyone knows. So 
for me, drama is not really a big of a deal. So when that happens, you know, you just, as a person, you just either take it as a lesson or not. And like, depends on you how to consume it. Right? And if you don't even want to care about it, that's totally fine. And you don't have to be involved with it if like you think that's not benefit, that's not beneficial for you. So I think I learned my way um, not to be really invested in this kind of drama, especially if that has nothing to do with me. Yeah. But yeah, but sometimes it is entertaining to, you know, watch people with the dramas and stuff. But I think without dramas, right? It wouldn't be fun to, you know, like, yeah. it'll be sad. <laughs> yeah, even though like, you know, the controversy of, yeah, just Elon Musk acquisition of Twitter recently who got a, a Trump back. So it's like a drama, but at the same time, uh, the drama uh, makes the, you know, excitement uh, like uh, in fire, right? So that's why I, I, I understand your point of view because uh, there's, uh, there's nothing about uh, right and wrong. It's about, uh, you know, uh, to, to, to find the truth right? and we just uh, you know uh, gather as community and then that was make uh, us stronger right so that's that's all it takes right sometimes yeah yeah i mean i mean uh it's it's social media it's the internet anyone can say anything so like if one person says something and another person don't agree with that that's totally valid because it's the internet. So like, if you're so free on saying something, you have to yeah. be so free on receiving something. You get what That's I mean? Right. Yeah. yeah, so like, I don't know. I mean, if you're so brave to make a statement, you also have to be brave on accepting arguments. And yeah, that's so just how life is. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what Messi is probably over, right? And the community. Other than that, uh, you you find it uh valuable. I mean, like other than community, maybe like uh, just value for position of the NFT itself. Like I don't know, maybe you have uh, thoughts on that or. I think I learned a lot too, like knowledge, like skill set, or like blender or something. You learn a lot, right? Then. Yeah, I learned a lot on like, um, you know, like when you're in this kind of like NFT scene, right? You want it or not, you have to kind of know how it works. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I mean, no one really knows how crypto works like exactly. Like, you never know when it's going to bull. You never know when it's going to bear or whatever. I mean, but along the way, I mean, I have always believed in, like, learning by doing. So, like, okay, so if you ever experience, like, oh, I have, like, this amount of BNB and... And I didn't convert them to stables, right? For example, because not gonna lie, you as an artist, right? You need the money. You 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 can't you can't lie to yourself because at the end of the day, like for some people, that's their main that's their main income. So you know, like uh, you want it or not, you have to know, you know, like uh, what's best for you and. I don't know. I feel like, um, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't think I'm supposed to give a financial advice, but I, I do know what, what works best for me, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, NFT itself have their own niche. Right? I mean, like NFT music or NFT art or something. So that maybe yeah, you're right. The the specific of. Uh, skill set maybe I uh, need to develop in order for them to uh, get involved. So. Yeah, it is part yeah, of the I game. Mean, I, mean, I, mean, yeah. I mean, you don't have to get to the point where you have to learn like yeah. doing futures or things like that. Those like very hard things. Like you don't have to. I mean, uh, I mean, if you want to know, that's up to you. That's that's up to you by all means. If you want to play trading or whatever, not that's on you. But if you're here to make arts in NFT scene, and you really don't want to have losses or whatever. Whenever you make sales, I think it's best to like, you know, convert them to stables or yeah, things like that. I mean, if you want to go trading, that's your choice. But if you're not uh, ready for that kind of risk, then you shouldn't do it. 
that kind of thing. Uh, right. That's the very uh, you know distinction between the trading and the NFT artists. So maybe yeah, as some uh, maybe the bear market or something. That's uh, you know the challenge of the NFT artist itself, right? You don't get the liquidity, and then your art don't get sold. So uh, that's why it's uh, you know uh, it's better to build at this time, right? Uh, because uh, there is no such thing, right? You know uh, when the bull market came, it's like uh, you know Gozali, right? It's just one of this lah. Uh, it's not. It's not happening to anyone, right? So, uh, but uh, that's that's why in, in this uh, uh, particular time is a better way to develop. Right? I mean, to be up, right? What happened to Gozali, by the way? I haven't heard from him. I mean, like, I <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But sometimes, yeah, yeah, easy come, easy go. You know, as Gozali right now is not really uh, the same as he used to be. So. <laughs> Uh, I I know maybe that the followers is getting bigger or something like that. But uh, what I'm saying is that the the popularity is not the same as it used to. Be. So uh, I don't know. Maybe Gozali develop their own project. But uh, right now I, I just uh, you know focus on the community and then that's why it's uh, getting stronger over time. Right? So that's oh well, talking about that right. Talking about that. Um, uh, it brings me to talk about this. Like, I think one of the hardest thing if you're in the NFT scene is to sustain. Ah, exactly. to sustain your visibility to sustain your like if people know you or not that kind of thing like I think it, it goes to like how you market yourself to or branding because I know some people they don't really I, I hate to use the word bet on artists maybe they believe in like this artist journey right so they want them to grow so some some people they start not by liking by liking the artworks, but sometimes they like the artist. So they want to know what's coming out next and stuff like that. And I feel like it's kind of important too for like if you wanna like ride the wave and stay relevant. I think I mean some people they don't have to do that because they're already known. But some people actually struggle to do that. Like, oh, how do I keep my name? right there like people know this person i mean people know me or not or stuff like that i feel like uh that's a hard one because to be honest with you like i myself struggle with that because yeah it's 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 a it's a tough game i mean it's not a game i hate the word game it's it's a tough scene lah. i mean if you want if you want it uh you just need to figure the way out lah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's up to, you know, uh, particularly uh, about life, right? When you are uh, tough, uh, uh, tough times, uh, you know, uh, d- discipline, you know, uh, you uh, keep doing it regardless of uh, whatever what happens, you know, I mean, uh, outside. Right? So, uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, it is uh, It is up to, anyway, you know. I, yeah. I just, want to, I just have one remark, like, do not force yourself, I guess, as an artist. Like, yeah. If you really cannot do it at the time just take a step back it's okay to breathe and it's okay to just do real life things and you don't have to force yourself to draw if you cannot because honestly i think after i lost my mom i lost the motivation to do it i lost the motivation to draw i lost the motivation to literally just work or whatever because i think i was having a hard time and i took a step back I was just enjoying life and I felt like uh, when it's not forced, it'll be better because I do have some works that I felt like I did it so forcefully that I didn't like it because I feel like you don't have any obligations to like um, follow people or whatever. You just do what you want to do, really. And... That's on them. If they want it, they buy it. If they don't, then they don't. You know. It's called like a law of attraction. You know, you just uh, keep doing what you're doing, and regardless of the result, you just focus on process, right? So, uh, and then yeah, I understand what happened uh, to you know most cases. So uh, yeah, maybe you can like uh, uh, can you like uh, spoil about your project uh, that has been going on right now? I mean like. It, it, it's called like UNST. I mean, like, uh, I just saw your bio and your profile. It's like, 
uh, what is called it? UNSD? Is that like it's uh, so Asia NFT, right? Collective? Is that yeah, the it's called ONS. Okay. It's called ONS. Um, ONS is a, a, should I say, community where they bring um, the Southeast Asian artists up and they have a group of like people, I mean, artists from multi-chains actually, not just from function. We have from Pentas, we have from quite a few and we also do have collectors in there. So um, I think like this kind of um, community is, you know, like is to support this artist, you know, especially when they, uh, I, mean, I don't know how to explain it, but it's it's like an art society. Yeah, yeah. to bring up artists, to, to broaden, to broaden, I mean, to get more, uh, I don't know what's the right word, um, to give them more exposure. Yes. Yeah, to give them more exposure and, you know, like, we work as a team too. Like, you still do whatever you want to do. You still produce whatever you want to produce. And um, a community like Owns will like, elevate you in a way. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like a lot of people. Reaching to uh, Web2 and Web3 as well. Right? I mean, like, when uh, people who have no idea about crypto, I mean, like, about NFT, uh, it's like community bridging as well, right? To have like the UNSD itself, right? I mean, like board app. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, yeah. Uh, also, the same idea, right? Yeah, and I believe like Owns also have plans to do a lot of things, but I cannot, I don't think I'm able to give some alpha leaks, but they have okay. plans coming their way. So, um, I don't think I'm the right person to say it. So maybe it's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's like confidential or something, right? You cannot say about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's still under planning. So um, yeah, it's definitely something big is gonna uh is gonna happen for us. And I'm so grateful that I'm in uh the collective. So yeah. So I mean, like the 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 collector of your NFT will be met uh during the UNSD. Is that what you're saying or? It's just something that uh, is something else. Or... No, it's a community where there are artists, of course, the creators. Yeah. And there are also a circle of like um, collectors too. Yeah. So, I mean, like, uh, I think it's a good, uh, a good alternative to for uh, them to also engage and like be friends with uh like among the, all the communities you got yeah yeah exactly because uh, at the same time uh it is to be precise right you you know uh, too large is not a uh, really a niche market maybe uh it's co complicated to manage all of that right so uh yeah you're right the, maybe uh this uh, particular project will you know bring like mass adoption and then uh, the people who have no idea about nft uh, can join as well right it's like inclusive community right so that uh, everyone can join right sure you know it's something like i don't know if you know uh on indonesian community like that's called satu sector yeah i know satu sector yeah, 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 yeah all like space all night right yeah yeah it's something like that it's like something like satu sector something like the urs minister of yeah. art yeah, things like that. Yeah, but it's actually for the Southeast Asian artists. Yeah, mm. but it's uh, 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 there is one who, you know, uh, that is like bigger than NFT, uh, maybe like crypto as well, uh, like community in Malaysia. You know, uh, Kofa, Kofa is like founder of Web3 Malaysia. You know, you know her or not? Um, I don't know. I'm yeah, so yeah, I know, but I, but I, I just oh you God, know, just went to the Telegram like, or right. something. So I explore a lot. I uh will uh, have the podcast as well. But uh, I just what what I mean is that uh, it is like the community that build like satu sector, right? And then uh maybe you have a two euro spaces as well to maybe I don't know uh, market this thing or yeah yeah absolutely. So guys, if you're curious uh, about UNSD, uh, please check it out so that maybe if you find it interesting. 
Uh, then yeah, maybe this is something that you guys need to follow, right? And then what what about yeah. uh, you know, uh, uh, event in uh, NFT event or uh, NFT in, in Malaysia itself? I, I mean, like the last time we met and uh, uh, and there is like NFT, not the particular NFT, but it's like art as well. But you have no idea. I mean, like it's not really inclusive, right? Uh, to say the least. But uh, what 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 do you thoughts on that? Maybe. Uh, this is like different community that uh, maybe have uh, know each other, but I don't know. I think uh, you, I think the moment you came, you came like a week later. Yeah. Like before, before that, uh, there was minted, and before minted, there was we are pop, um, we are pop. So we are pop is under pentas. So for minted, um, uh, I'm not really sure, but like there's a lot of like. It's not just pentas. There's a lot more, and there's a lot of sponsors. Minta is the big, big one. Like, it's a seven day event, and it happened at Tiffany at the Yard. It was a fun event, and the audience were crazy. Like, there's a lot of people, and that was like an NFT event, and they had a lot of talks. They had a lot of party going on and stuff like that. So yeah, it was it was a fun experience. I mean, I've been, uh, I went to Minted for two days only because I was so busy. But from what I heard, they had a good time there. Yeah, so it's like annual event because uh, when you maybe like, uh, as you mentioned before about Rospar or something, they create the event as well, right? Maybe it's not like uh, event to say the least. I mean, like maybe uh, like hang out or something. But uh, this is something that you maybe the community try to achieve a bit annual event or I don't know. Pardon? Sorry. Ah uh, yeah, I mean like annual event or something uh, about NFT this thing because uh, you know when you first meet uh, Rochfang before uh, it's not the call an event right? It's maybe like a hangout or something when you uh, see uh, the NFT going on. Yeah, I think that's the interesting part about Rochfang because Rochfang initially wanted to do that for people to touch some grass you know like don't feel too pressured stacking at home and like being pressured on not knowing what to do or things like that just go out and breathe i think that was his initial plan when he said to me that like he, he told me that he want people to you know just touch some grass and have fun like you don't have to like put your mind into work all day you can always take a break that, that was his initial plan. It was like nothing big, but it used to be like something big because like a lot of people make it. And I think that that moment, like the community was so strong, like everyone wanted to come and just socialize. So it was fun to see how supportive people could be. And I I remember like the second day of me in NFT, I already went to the event, not event, like, to the hangout. And it was so weird because I didn't know anybody. Yeah. And then, uh, but like, I, I really didn't know anyone. And then, uh, I, 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 I think the first person that I said hi to was Roach Pang. Then I met Nimia because I actually talked to Nimia before the event. Uh, we talked about something. I, uh, I think it was about like, what, what should I meet on Pentas? Because I was, I really didn't know what to do on Pentas at that time. And we had a really, really good talk. I think Nimia has helped me a lot uh, in NFT, actually. And yeah, I mean, talking about people who actually helped me a lot, it's like Nimia, I had Tamago, I had uh, a lot of people. And right now, I'm really, really close to Arda, Sharawi. There, I have a huge list. So I can't like name them like one by one, but yeah, they, they've been really, really nice to me and I'm really, really grateful that I met all of them. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, even the gather together, you know, unfortunately when I came there, maybe I just, you know, miss, you know, I had a mistake to, you know, to know it's not like really NFT event, right? It's like art event so that maybe you just, you know, have no idea about what's going on. So yeah, maybe, yeah, next, next year, uh, if I have time again, I will, like Minted S year, right? Uh, it's like the event, right? Yeah, the, the biggest one, right? In, in, in yeah. The, yeah, maybe next year if I, I have time to make it and I will make it. So, yeah, that's pretty much uh, 
I mean, you can always contact Roche Pang and like set like, you know, you can talk to him and like, oh, we can like we do a big hangout. Maybe we can bridge Indonesians and Malaysians together or stuff yeah. like that. I think he'll be so happy to do that. Yeah, I know. But it is hard, even though like it's, we are really close as, you know, in uh, geographically. But at the same time, uh, you know, uh, people, as the, uh, they get older, uh, they have their own thing, right? So <laughs> sometimes uh, we cannot like, you know, yeah, I, I completely understand. So yeah, that's uh, very much about uh, maybe uh, about it. And then, yeah, maybe, uh, yeah, uh, this like uh, cover of, uh, you know, all of my uh, thoughts. Maybe, uh, yeah, if uh, I come to Malaysia again, I will let you know. But uh, before, it's just for fun of my advice. Maybe, do you have like any specific, uh, maybe like target of Ethereum or <laughs> because it's still bull market or bear market or next year or for the next uh, four years? Lah. It's just for fun, just for fun. I mean, like, you're still bull or bear? I don't know. Oh my god, I, I really don't. It's just one, just one. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't think people really have an answer to that. So, I, I yeah, I mean, like, for, I really for the next five years, like, you still uh, build so uh, crypto uh, or NFT is here to stay, right? At least, right? <coughs> I, uh, Not going to win, right? Regardless if it's going to be bull or bear, I think the good thing is that you've built something. Yeah, I know. Out of Web3 that you can bring into Web2. You get what I mean? Yeah, the bridging as well, right? So And you get yeah. more, you get to know more people. So when you get to know more people from the Web3, um, for example, you create arts, right? Uh, you can like get to know people who can help you uh, widen your, I mean, widen your, what do you call that? Um, like you, you can get more options, I guess. Like okay, for example, if it's not gonna work in the web three, but at least you know what to do. I mean, you know who to get to, and you know who to, you know, know contact or stuff like that. Because uh, trust me, the community is super supportive. You just get, you just have to know who can you talk to. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I mean, for example, you want to create a business, you can. Ask that their help to you know help you in a way, uh, not help by buying or whatever, but like by just supporting, by sharing repost, retweet, and stuff like that. That actually really works, you know, especially when people help you to boost you up and stuff like that. Yeah, because external yeah, support sometimes say it, it, it means a lot, you know. Because uh, yeah, even though like not like financial support or something, uh. There, there are like uh, you know many support, right? I mean, like uh, mental support or something is it, uh, gonna uh, uh, you know uh, uh, beneficial as well. Right? So yeah, that's pretty much uh, that you uh, want to say, right? So yeah, I think uh, I, I think that's it for today, guys. Uh, maybe it's uh, time for you to sleep as well. Uh, uh, if you guys uh, are curious about the uh, uh, UNSD and also. Uh, Amir, who you know, uh, uh, become an NFT artist as well, and uh, met, uh, I mean, like, uh, uh, met her as well. Uh, you guys, uh, uh, please check out the link in the description and leave a like and subscribe to our channel.